Hey, how you doing? So, what I want to show you today is how to do the beginner's kettlebell clean. Now, the kettlebell clean, you need to know, you need to learn. It's a really important exercise to learn because it, it's like the gateway to the next exercises. It's a transition exercise. So the better that you learn it, the more you're proficient and efficient you are at using the clean, the better it is, and the more fun you'll have when you go to do other kettlebell exercises. So, just to demonstrate, it's quite a technical exercise, but I'll show you the kettlebell clean for beginners. If you learn it this way, it'll be easy for you to transition into the full kettlebell clean when you get more skilled and more comfortable with what your body's doing and with what the weight is doing, okay? So the first thing is use a monkey grip, that type of grip, okay? So you want to use this sort of grip. Do not, don't grab it like, you know, you're clenching the fist. Just make a loose grip like so, like it's just hooking, like you're hooking the handle of the kettlebell, okay? So that's your first tip. Second tip is put it right between your legs. Stand over the top of it, because you're doing the learners. We're doing the kettlebell clean for you who is a beginner. We're gonna hinge at the hips and use that grip, that grip, and stand tall. There's your first part, okay? Stand tall. Again, grip, and stand tall. Now, this center line is gonna be very important the rest of the movement. Okay, now, from that grip, we wanna just get a little bit of a swing, okay? So we're having this kind of movement, this kind of movement. It's just a small movement with that grip, practicing without the bell, you want to have this sort of grip, okay? So from here, we grab it, I just wanna swing and get a little bit of momentum. As you get that momentum, see it's not a big swing, but you'll feel that it should come to this sort of height. Okay, like here. And you swing it, like so. Get used to it this way. You can grip it this way, okay? The other thing you can notice, so I'm holding it right in the corner, right in the L shape of the kettlebell. So that'll make it easier to grip, and make it easier for you to fit your hand through which is the technical part and the trickiest part that most people struggle with. Okay, so from here again, let's do this. Pick it up, back swing, just do this little swing, okay? Let's get used to this, follow that arm, get this arm to mimic, mimic this arm. And then from here, we wanna just do that little knee dip and just bring it up. Now, again, I'm gonna drop it. So let's imagine as you drop it, you'll do that little knee dip, drop, knee dip, and come up. Drop, knee dip, hinge, and push up through your heels. Again, knee dip, and shh, drive it through. So that's the same, you're doing it simultaneously. You're swinging as you dip. So when your, when your arm makes contact with your body, and then when it come back up, and as you come back up, the momentum of your thighs drives the bell up, okay? Again, from here, little back swing. Let's get this movement going first. Take your time with it, so you're learning. And then from here, see how my thumb's loose? We want it to be loose to make it easier for us to access the handle. And then that little dip to get up there, okay, again. Let's try on the third one, two, three, and dip, and it should slide in. Now, what you're doing is, you're just spiking your hand through the horn. So as it's coming from that grip, it's important to have that grip, because as it comes up, you'll slide your hand through. Again, it comes through like that, you come up, dip, and I'll just slide in. And when you get that used to that movement, it becomes quite comfortable 
and then it's able to come and hit you in their pocket, your bicep pocket. It's really important, okay? Do not uh, crunch it up. It's not a muscle exercise. Don't do that. When you do that, you're gonna probably damage all these carpals in here. Uh, and you have a hard time in the future. So you wanna do this exercise to, to have longevity out of it and do all the other exercises. Now again, do it again, demonstrate. And you go from there, from the floor, pick it up from the deadlift, swing it back, two, three, and spike it through the handle. So all it's doing is going from that position by the time it gets to here, we just want to slide it, slide the hand through, fingers open, they should be pointing skyward. Notice too, that I'm using the center line as my guide to keep the bell here. We don't want the bell ending up out here. Not a good idea, as we're beginners, it's going to hurt you, you're going to cause a lot of industry injuries. So you want, just don't work out, that's why I'm puffing. Um, don't do this. We don't want it here. We don't want it there. We don't want to muscle it. Okay, why? Right, go from here and just slide it through. Not just sitting there nicely. Right. The other point is, observe. This drops almost straight in front of you. Okay, we're almost just like letting it drop. Okay. You notice that? Let it drop, and then do that movement. Okay. Again. Go from here, dip, and move up. Whew. Don't push it out there and fire it out like that. You know, because if you, the further your arm gets away from your body, the more danger there is of hurting your elbow and your shoulders and everything. You get out of balance, you twist and do all sorts of weird things. Again, we want to go from here. And we just want to push it out just slightly, or even just nudge it, nudge it with your elbow, uh, your shoulder. Here. And, whew, and slide, slide it back in here. Now, okay, again, and spike it in. The closer your elbow is to your body, the safer your shoulder will be, the safer everything will be, okay? So, it, you're protecting your body as well as you're doing the exercise. Right, so it's the same. If I go for a heavier belt, I want to swing it. Once, nicely come up it'll be in a controlled manner you can grip it at the top hold it there to secure it just in case you want to go do another exercise right over right here okay again one and use the momentum and your hips your fight so with that dip dip and stand tall first and you'll notice that the momentum of your standing tall as you stand tall, and the belt sit in that pocket nicely. Okay, right. Now, if that is a little bit too technical for you, you might want to go to a two-handed um, clean. Now, from here, just want to do two hands. They go underneath each other on the handle. Just so swing it back and do it this way. Just okay, you used to the movement. Okay, this here, so you can follow the camera. And same thing is happening with your hips and your thighs and your feet. Dip, dip, stay hinged, and dip, stay hinged, and up again. Okay, so really just go over the points again. Start off with the bell right in the middle here. Right in the center for safety. You want to use this grip, nice loose grip. It's a very strong grip, even though it's not bound or closed. Open grip. Okay, let's start from here. Pull and it slides in. Okay, use a lighter weight to start with, to begin with, so that you understand what the bell is doing. The more you understand, the better you'll get at it. Okay, let me show you. Um, some of the movements you can do from this position, okay? If we're going from here, go to the clean. We can go to the press, okay? 
and go to the rack squat from here as well. We can go to this, we can go to snatch later on, but as a beginner, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, great. Um, if you've got any value out of today's content, leave a comment. If you need more instruction, let me know. If it's not clear enough, please let me know and I'll do another video to go through it again because it's a really, really important exercise. You'll love this exercise because it's an exercise that just leads to so much more um, in the Kettlebell universe. Thank you so much. I'm Cole Hakatawa and you look after yourself. See you soon, beginners. Good luck. Good luck, beginners.